Vertical farming is really the practice of growing fresh fruit and veg indoors in a closed environment, in a controlled environment. If you compare vertical farms to traditional agriculture, in the same amount of space, we can grow up to 350 times the amount of produce and we do that with 95% less water, 95% less fertilizer, and 100% pesticide free. So what you're seeing there is a flood, right? Every flood is a kind of on a timer, so that happens maybe five times a day, and it's essentially just giving fertilized water to the plants, right? By growing indoors and by localizing growing, we're able to put our farms close to our cities and that has massive implications for the food supply chain for things like food waste and for things like shelf life i think the cop events are very important as a reason for the entire global sustainability industry to get together and discuss the big challenges that exist but I think the real big change has to come from business and has to come from industry. There's still a lot of fossil fuel extraction happening. We're not gonna get around that, but there's also some very important technologies like carbon capture that is getting implemented. We have to acknowledge that there's definitely an end goal of being net zero, but a lot needs to be done during this transitionary time. And that change has to come from big businesses. This is really existential, right? In the news recently, scientists have said we've already blown through the one and a half degree target. And if that continues and that gets worse and worse, I think a lot of this stuff is gonna get, is already becoming very existential. I think we have to feel hopeful. I think we have to.